Yo, what's up, YouTube? So, on today's video, we are going to be talking about the simple fact that dopamine overload is absolutely destroying your mental health. It, it is. It has your mental health in a chokehold, and it's just, just, just fucking it up, bro. And this video is completely science based. I'm not. This ain't no bro science. This ain't no bullshit. This is completely based on scientific studies and uh, podcasts and whatnot. And I'm gonna attach those down below. But anyways, let me get straight into it. The simple fact of the matter is that actually, let me begin with the foundation because a lot of people, a lot of people don't understand what dopamine is and the background science behind it. So let me start there. So essentially, dopamine is. A neurotransmitter, so it's essentially a chemical in our brains that allows us to feel pleasure and motivation. Okay, when you when you feel any level of pleasure in your brain or in your body, that is dopamine. So when you have sex and you feel good afterwards, that's dopamine. When you play video games and you feel good, that's dopamine. When you watch porn, when you when you do drugs, when you party, when you're with a sexy girl, no matter what it is, when you feel that sense of pleasure inside of you. That is dopamine in action, okay? So every activity that we do, they release different levels of dopamine. So for example, when you, when you eat food, that releases an amount of dopamine. But when you do drugs or when you have sex, that obviously releases more dopamine than just eating food. So every activity releases a different amount of dopamine. And where the issues arise is when we are in constant pursuit of dopamine. The issue arises when we are in constant pursuit of activities that release extreme levels of dopamine. And what I mean by that is <clears throat> when you constantly play video games or when you constantly watch pornography or when you are constantly doing drugs or constantly partying or constantly doing any activity that releases extreme amounts of dopamine, for consistent periods of time, that becomes problematic. And the reason why that's a problem is because after you do an activity for the first time, so let's say that it's your first time watching pornography, for example. After you watch porn, you're, you are going to, you're going to feel an extreme amount of pleasure during that process of watching porn because it's releasing so much dopamine. And again, dopamine really, Dopamine causes pleasure. So when you get the dopamine, re dopamine release, you feel pleasurable. So as you're watching porn for the first time, you feel extremely pleasurable. But the issue is that after you finish the activity, it's this weird pathway in our brain that as soon as we experience that extreme amount of dopamine, that then causes an extreme amount of craving. So each time that you do this activity, you begin to get slightly addicted to it. And on the other hand, although you become more and more addicted over time, on the other hand, the amount of dopamine released from that from that activity goes down. So each time that you do the activity, you are getting more and more addicted, but you're receiving less and less pleasure. So over time, as you continue to watch pornography or as you continue to play video games or as you continue to do drugs or as you continue to party, you begin to get more and more craving for it and more and more and more and more addicted to it. You're, you're, you're just slowly sloping upwards. You're getting more and more addicted, more and more addicted. But every single time you do it, you're getting less and less pleasure, less and less pleasure until you reach a point where you just don't feel any pleasure from that activity anymore, but you can't stop because you're so deeply addicted to it. And it's truly dangerous because it doesn't stop there. Because after you've done that process, you have completely fucked up your dopamine pathways. They're, 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 they're destroyed. So what that means, again, since dopamine oversees your ability to feel pleasure and to experience motivation and to have drive to go out and conquer in the world, once you have fucked up your, do your dopamine pathways, 
now now you can't experience pleasure and enjoyment from day-to-day -day activities. You don't experience pleasure when you're out with friends. You don't experience pleasure when you're reading a book. You don't experience pleasure when you're just existing. And you need that activity. You need that activity that you're addicted to in order to, to experience any level of pleasure. But the sad thing is that you don't even experience pleasure from that, from that activity anymore. So, you, so you're just in this empty state of grayness where every aspect of life feels shitty. And again, the science truly supports this. I, I, I have attached it down below. I have attempted to summarize it as concisely and as simply as I can, but the podcast down below goes into much more specific detail about the pathology of dopamine overload and dopamine addiction and addictions in general. But this is something that anyone can learn from and use to improve their day-to-day -day lives because most people nowadays, we, the average person spends six hours and 53 minutes a day on technology. So for us to sit here and say that we're not addicted is complete and utter bullshit. C complete bullshit. So if you are, are, if you're questioning why life feels gray and empty and why you have a lack of motivation, it's probably because your dopamine pathways are completely fucked up. That, that, that's probably the reason. And that is most likely because you've been giving yourself too much instant gratification. That might be in the form of video games. That might be in the form of partying. That might be in the form of drugs. That might be in the form of alcohol. That might be in the form of pornography. That might be in the, in the form of social media addiction. But the fact of the matter is that you are probably giving yourself too much easy dopamine. So what you need to do to fix that is take time away from these pleasure, from these extreme pleasure inducing activities. Take time away from the pornography. Take time away from the video games. Take time away from, <clears throat> excuse me, take time away from, from whatever, blah, blah, blah. take time away from whatever activity it is that you are typically going to, to try to escape to and to, to fulfill that sense of craving. You have to. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's not going to be fun. It's going to suck for a while. But after you have went 30 days without using that activity and without <clears throat> without spiking your dopamine levels to these unhealthy levels, then you'll be able to experience pleasure and happiness and a sense of underlying bliss in day to day life. It's sad because we we like to think that we are so advanced in this modern day and age. And I mean, techn technologically speaking, we are. But I I genuinely I genuinely believe that people in the past were happier than we are today on average. I, I genuinely think that because nowadays we have so many different things that are working against our biological our biological needs and the things that would make us happy. We have these foods that are making us unhealthy. We have technology that's taking away our ability to, to be happy with day-to-day -day life. We're, we're, we're becoming more lonely and disconnected. We're, there's so many different things that are, that are advancing us, but that are making us more and more unhappy. But anyways, I'm starting to rant. Let me get back to the point of the video. The purpose of this video is just to allow you to see that your cell phone and technology and dopamine overload in general is completely destroying your mental health. So take time away from the dopamine, dopamine inducing activities and take a step back and just try to come back to a baseline level of dopamine so that you can begin to enjoy day to day life more. Anyone can do it. It's not going to be easy, but it, it's such a beautiful thing when you can enjoy life without a cell phone, without drugs and without alcohol and just be present in the moment. Anyways, never forget that consistency creates kings. And if you are not consistent in the areas of your life that matter the most to you, then you are not going to see results in your life. I wish y'all the best. I love y'all. Peace out.